Hi, this is my Lab 5 for digital system design class. I'm using a Kintex 7 FPGA on a digital board and in this lab we recreated the, the cell phone game Snake using this hardware. I'll show you a quick demonstration of the game before I explain how the hardware is working. So I'm going to hit start on the keyboard and the game starts. It responds to my keyboard strokes moving the uh, snake up, down, left, and right. And it traverses across the screen until it reaches a boundary in which there is a game over situation. So, okay, it has reached the end, game over. Obviously it's not much of a game because there's no obstacles in the way or the snake doesn't grow or get smaller, but that's not the point of this lab. The important part of this lab is interfacing a USB keyboard to this piece of hardware and outputting to the screen a VGA screen using a VGA cable. So how this is done is inside the FPGA we check for patterns using the USB keyboard standard and you'll see that I have the outputs being displayed to the seven segment display. Every time I press a key here it updates the seven segment display with that key code for that key. So A1 has a key code of 1C and B has a key code of 32. So that's just an example. And all the different keys have a different key code. And every time it registers a new key code, the status LED is updated with a strobe so that you, knew, so that you know that a new key is being pressed. So from here it accepts the inputs from the keyboard and based on those keyboards we are drawing a different output on the screen depending on where the snake is at. So a VGA has an electron beam that is constantly scanning across the screen at different levels and it checks that X and Y coordinate of the electron beam and if that coordinate matches the coordinate of the snake that we designed then we want to draw blue else it should draw white. So it's constantly making a comparison of that whether there's a snake there or not and drawing white or blue. And uh, the, the difficult part was interfacing the keyboard with the FPGA and based off of what your inputs are in the FPGA outputting to the screen where the snake is going to be. And this is a good lab interfacing two different protocols using a standard piece of hardware. Alright, thank you.